What's up, everybody? How we doing? What's up, Bandy Whistle? Good to see you back here. So, uh, tonight, I'm not 100% sure what we're going to do tonight. Uh, I was just telling Terracero, I don't really have a plan. Um, so we're going we're gonna to be doing a little bit of everything in the mod making uh, process. So you can see we're, we've got some animations together. Let's, let's talk about where the mod is at right now. Uh, let's talk about what on earth I'm talking about actually first. So <laughs> I'm making a mod for Friday Night Funkin'. Um, it's an original mod called uh, Versus Gentbot. Um, D-J-E-N-T, like the style of progressive metal music. Uh, and he's this, this cute little dude. He likes to bang his head like that, because he's playing metal music. Um, let's, uh, let's run the build of the game that I have so far. It's very rough. Um, but let's take a look. Uh, Beanie Boy, I'm working all by myself. I'm doing programming, animation, music, uh, dialogue, uh, cutscenes, all of the above. All by my lonesome. <laughs> How's it going, Puddles? Good to see you. Hey, Casanari from Germany. Alright, so I've gotten two songs into the game. Uh, and, and this is gonna, um... I'll pause this in a second. Okay. So... This is going to launch, I think, and this isn't like an official announcement yet. I don't have a date yet. This is going to launch with two songs as a work in progress thing. Um, so first two songs, first two or three cutscenes. Uh, I have all the dialogue for the entire mod recorded. Um, and my wife actually voiced girlfriend, which is fun. <laughs> she did a great job. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> um, and uh, can I make this an app on the Play Store? I don't think I can, Christian. Um, but I am going to have, like, an online version of this that you can play on... Somebody mentioned a site where you can post this as a Flash game to play online instead of downloading. So that'll be an option. Um, yeah, I've been married five years, Beanie Boy. Uh, it'll be five years next month. To show, show you before anyone else. Will do. Uh, so, I got the first two songs in. Uh, this is going to release with two songs, two cutscenes, or three cut... I don't know. We'll see. I'll have a proper trailer on that next week. So here's the first song. I've got it like half charted at the moment. Three, two, one, go. I need to make some of these hold notes. Hold, hold, hold notes. I just haven't done that yet. I also don't know how to do that yet. <laughs> I gotta look that up. Does anybody know how to do that? Thanks, Blue Chaos Emerald. That's gonna be fun. Somebody said I can add... Oh yeah, the screams. That's fun. Somebody said if I press E, it'll add hold notes. Oh, there we go. Okay. I see. Whoops. <laughs> cool. We'll mess with that later. Uh, what's up, Norberto? Um... Cyphers, what song do I plan on doing next this Saturday? We're going to go over it later, actually. I'm doing uh, Heart Bass from the Carol, Carol and Witty date mod. That's going to be fun. Okay. Uh, so that's the first song. 
uh, I don't have a chart for the other one yet, and I haven't charted, I haven't finished charting this. So we're going to finish charting this one today, probably. Um, and, and we'll work on Carol and Witty a little bit, because I've got it like most of the way done, but I want to put some finishing touches on it. Uh, but yeah, let's look at the... Uh, I have different animations for his uh, second song. This is not proper charting. This is like mediocre automatic charting I got. Can't even really see him. Hang on, let me change the camera for that one. Uh, so I found this program that can convert MIDI into um, uh, into Friday Night Funkin' charts. So that's what I'm using for this. Here he's a little angrier. Yeah, this is not the right charting yet. We're gonna get there. Why isn't there a fart sound effect? I don't know. <laughs> Beanie Boy, it is just gonna be called Verse Gentbot. I have artwork for it. Um, uh, it's in the Discord. Let me find it. Here's the artwork. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> so, I'll do like a proper trailer announcement thing for it next week, along with releasing those first two songs. And they will be on Spotify right away. Um, so, I guess in thinking about what needs to happen next, uh, I would like to get proper charting done for both of those songs. Let's start there. Uh, so let's talk about how I'm charting this. Yeah, Wonderlands, we just started. Okay, so we're here in Pro Tools, and this is actually how I'm charting this. I'm not using the uh, the editor in Friday Night Funk, and I don't like it at all. Um, so I, I actually just have my vocals in here. I'll bring in the, uh, let me bring in. The track as well for you, so we can hear that all together. Jump Bob Plushy, that would be adorable, Fluffy Fluff. How's it going, Colby Paul? And basically, whatever note I place becomes... Uh, this is the right arrow, and then below that is the up arrow, below that is the down arrow, and below that note is the left arrow. And that's how I'm charting this. Check Showcase on Discord. We'll do a bandy whistle in a minute. Uh, here's those double, those double steps for the screams. Oh, thanks, Gash Dipson. <laughs> this part probably doesn't sound nice to her. <laughs> Sorry about that. I wanted to put some metal screams in here. Uh, so I took some metal screams I did for uh, the Bring Me the Horizon cover, and I chopped them up into little pieces and, and rearranged them into a robot sound. Just going to borrow these notes as a starting point. Let's do top three notes. Uh, 
It'll be left top, bottom right, but up and down. Yeah, if Sunday was a robot, basically. Except Sunday's a way better person than this robot is. He's not gonna be... He's not gonna be that, like... <laughs> He's kind of a jerk. Then it kind of repeats. Trying to think of interesting I want the charting to be really good on this, basically. I, uh, I, I grew up playing a lot of rhythm games, a lot of DDR, um, Step Mania, um, Guitar Hero, of course. And charting is like super, super important to me. Why not FL Studio, Denton? Because uh, I don't like it. I'm sorry. I grew up using Pro Tools. Uh, actually, no, that's not true. I grew up using uh, GarageBand and then later Cubase. But when I got to college, I was trained on Pro Tools and I really fell in love with it. I can't stand FL Studio. Yes, it did, Norberto. <laughs> So let's think about how this should feel. This is going to be an easy song. Uh, just to remind everybody, this is what the final song sounds like. So it gets harder. So don't worry, it's gonna get harder. Um, but this this first song, I, I think there's gonna be a really wide difficulty curve, starting fairly easy and getting really hard. Not like not like unfunly hard, but still hard. And I'm trying to give some thought to the notes. Oh, Gash Dibson. Uh, it is largely, I, I do largely keep them clean. Um, I try not to curse as I, I have young students, uh, who, who do watch me, so I don't generally say bad words. If they're in a song, I will sing them. Uh, I will say the D&D &D stream that I'm on is not going to be clean. Um, that is definitely going to be not clean. Uh, Mass Souls, yeah, I'm doing charting for everything. Not today, we're just gonna do this one, which is Sideways, and the other one, which is called Does It.
It's funny to me that I have to put so much work into charting something that the player will never play, which is the, the enemies part. I'm just making things up at this point. I guess I'm making things up all the time. <laughs> Have a good night, Beanie Boy. What's the history of the mod monster gameplay? Um, do you mean like in in the mod lore or like my history of making it? We are almost done charting. Okay, I think we're done. So now let me let me show you the slightly insane process of getting these MIDI charts into the game. Um, Killjoy, I'm uh, so somebody told me about a site where I can upload this so people can play them. Um, and I'll tell you about that as soon as I know what it is. Thanks, Cash Dipson. I sampled it myself from, I think, Bo Peepo. Uh, I just, like, took a, a piece of his voice and then mapped it onto a keyboard. And I was going to change it and do one by hand. People do them, like, singing them themselves and stuff. But honestly, I, I've kind of grown to really like how it sounds. So uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Bandy Wilson saying, check showcase. Let me see. <laughs> That's cute. Bandy Whistle's lovely fan art, as always. I just want to shout out commenter Chi as well, who's doing amazing work. Um, yeah, so let's talk real quick, real quick commercial for my own thing here. Um, I, I'm also starting a Dungeons and Dragons live stream uh, with some friends. And uh, let me pull it up here so I can link it. I, I rarely do this, but everybody go sub to my new channel. Um, this is called Tales from Rukon, and it's a, a Dungeons and Dragons live stream. It's going to be a lot of fun if you're into D and D stuff. Um, and and Commenter Chi has already drawn fan art of of themselves in this uh, in this game world that we've created. So that's super cool to me. Thank you, Commenter Chi, and and thank you, Bandy Whistle, for this awesome fan art as well. You rock. You're both amazing. So, let's, uh, let's get this chart into the game. Check this out. So we've got MIDI data here, which is like sheet music for computers. And what we're going to do is export that MIDI to, uh, say this is sideways, call this a rough chart for now. And what we are going to do... open up this app check this out it's called midi 2 fnf and what it's going to do i'm just going to open up that midi we just made i'm going to say it's 120 bpm which is right uh and none of this matters for reasons but normally i would type in the song name sideways uh the name of the stage is the gent studio Player one's going to be boyfriend. Player two is going to be gentbot. Uh, but that doesn't matter for reasons I don't really 
know how to explain right now. Um, okay, so we just saved that. I'm going to open up that chart. And that, this, check this out. Oh, good to have you back, Beanie Boy. Um, Denki, I, I, honestly, I don't know. I'm Googling most of it. <laughs> uh, this is a note chart, folks. This is what note charts look like. Isn't that fun? <laughs> so, um, I can make this better to look at. This is really what a note chart looks like. Each one of these is a note. Check it out. Um, now, for whatever reason, the file that it makes won't actually run in Cade Engine. So I just steal the notes portion of the file and then um, open up the actual one I have here. And I'm just going to paste it. into the one I already have working. We're gonna save. Now let's try playing our new chart. Um, oh, actually there's one more thing I have to do. And that is change the camera angle for some of these. Uh, so our first few are Gentbot. And I can tell because of these numbers here, anytime I see four, five, six, any of that stuff, that is Gentbot. Anytime I see 0, 1, 2, 3, or sorry, 1, 2, 3, yeah, that is, uh, that is Boyfriend. Gentbot again. Now they're both singing, so that's probably Boyfriend. Gentbot. And actually, if I get this all done, this might be our final chart for Sideways, which is cool. Vexel Chair, it is not as hard as you think, trust me. Um, once, you, once you understand like the basic concepts, uh, I promise it is all really straightforward. Uh, it is just telling computers what to do. It's just bossing them around a little bit. And once you know, once you understand their language, life gets a lot easier. Also makes like using computers on a day-to-day -day basis so much easier because you know how they behave behind the scenes. So when they do weird stuff, you know why they're doing that weird stuff and you can fix it, which is pretty cool. Um. I'm really lucky that I have a programming background. Um, I've, I've been coding since I was like uh, a little kid. I don't even remember. Um, Beanie Boy, how old am I? I'm 30. I turned 30 uh, two months ago. Right when the Bo Burnham special about, coming, about turning 30 came out. Uh, so that felt weird <laughs> to watch that. Still got spooky kids in the background here. Okay, let's run this. And let's see how that chart feels. While we're waiting for that, let's check out Bandy Whistle's new drawing. <laughs> Commercial break. <laughs> I like this hair you've given me. <laughs> I don't... I don't think my hair does that. I like it. I think it's cute. <laughs> I just never pictured my hair like that. <laughs> Alright, let's launch sideways, see how it feels. Yeah, Massagovia, I, uh, I started with BASIC Three, two, uh, and then learned all the web coding languages, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. I guess my camera changes didn't work. Oh no, what was that? Let's go through and, and clean up some of this. There, so there's this one thing that happens uh, with... Oh, I hope it didn't do it. Let's just scroll ahead to find out. Yeah, so I know it happened with that. And that.
There's a few double notes that it places sometimes. Yeah, see, like that. This whole game system is pretty glitchy. Um, also, for some reason, I can't scroll backward sometimes. This node editor is a real mess. Okay, I knew those doubles were going to be messed up. That's okay. And I got my room to be so vibey. I have, I don't know if you can see, hang on. If you can see right here. Right here. Oh, now you can't see it. I have a light on the floor. Whoop. That's all. Without that, it's just a normal room. Dean shorts. Yeah, Dean's wearing shorts. <laughs> Dean never wears shorts. Dean was working in a very hot warehouse today. Um, for lots of reasons. And uh, I, I, I work for a company that provides musical instruments around the world. And I had to, I had to do some warehouse work today. Usually I'm working on a computer. But today there was stuff to do. And it was hot, so I wore shorts, which never happens. What's my favorite song I played with a guitar, Adrian? Uh, it is... I think it's Casanova. Like, Casanova's just a blast. <laughs> okay. I'm I'm getting annoyed at this. I'm going to go back into Pro Tools one more time, and I think I figured out the trick to getting this not to do it anymore, which was to shorten these MIDI notes. If this doesn't work, we just won't worry about this today. But let's try that again. One more time through that process. We go to our desktop, we grab that. Yes, I'm not worried about this stuff. Cade, and we'll save it there. We open it up in our editor. We grab the notes, which end here. We drop them into sideways. I save. Let's close out of this bad boy. Let's run it one more time. Chatman, donations open. I, I don't have a donation link, but you can do super chats. And that would, that would be awesome. You don't have to, though. Thank you. Masagovia, yeah, it's... I tried to keep it poppy. Um, I originally had Periphery in mind, but some people have said it sounds more like Scale the Summit, or Intervals, and I'm down with that. Or like Early Polyphia would be awesome. So. What program am I using for programming? This is an app called Brackets. Um, it's my, it's just my code editor of choice. Uh, I could be using Visual Studio, um, but Brackets works just fine for me. Let's see if this worked. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, no better. I got Patreon too. <laughs> of course. If this didn't work, we'll move on to doing something else. You don't need to watch me just quick notes all day. Nope. Totally screwed up. Let's do it. Let's do a few of these, because um, I want to get I want to get the camera switches down too. 
because I would love to just wrap up this, um, this chart. I'd feel really good if this was done. So what I'm doing, I'm changing this camera points to player one thing here, and then swapping the notes over. Uh, and now it's boyfriend's turn, so he sings, blah, 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 blah. And we're just going to get rid of the double notes. Now it's Gentbot's turn again. Changing the camera. So I think we'll finish this. Oh, there was a bad. Nope. I guess I can't go back. Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay. Boyfriend got some, some notes here, that's for sure. I feel like I made it worse somehow with what I did. <laughs> I wonder if it's interpreting the note off messages as, I think I figured this out. This is, oh, this is so, all right, we're going to try one more thing. And if this doesn't work, then don't worry about it. But um, I just have to try a thing if I figured it out. Uh, this was programmed by a really awesome modder named Nix the Shield, uh, who's created a lot of awesome stuff for Friday Night Funkin' Creators. Um, like he made a boyfriend sound font that's really good. All kinds of good stuff. Um, and uh, it's not perfect, but I can appreciate something that kind of works, as that's usually all I can program too. Okay, one last try. In the notes and where? There. Okay, last try. If not, we're moving on. Mic'd up or Platinum Engine would be better. I I looked into those. There's just so much more uh, good tutorials for the Cade Engine. And I I already got enough steps deep into this that I'm going to stick with Cade Engine, I think. What are the benefits to those other engines, Zerk? I, I would love to know because I, I feel like there's not a lot of great information out there about this. I'm just going to hop right into the editor and we'll see if it's messed up when we get there. I think it's right around the end of Boyfriend's first part that we start getting errors. Okay. It's not looking perfect, but it is better. Let's see when we get to the screams how bad it is. We'll see the screams when we start seeing double notes. Hey, okay. All right, this isn't that bad. Good, then let's just fix the couple bad ones we have and we can actually play this. Three, two, one. Oh, what? <laughs> All right, I think this editor got a little glitched out. Three, two, so let's restart. Three, two, one. Nope, still glitchy. Three, two, one. Zerk, I'll look into it. I haven't gotten that deep into the code, so maybe it's not that bad. Three, two, one. Okay. Press the arrow keys. Somebody's... What happened here? It's like it got shortened. Oh, I can step through the sections like that. Am I? Am I real dumb? I think I might be.
Yeah, I'm dumb. <laughs> Alright, let's make these hold notes then. Can you make a note hold over? Yes, you can. Okay, cool. What do I think about chalky milk? It's it's delicious. I'm kind of lactose intolerant though. So I don't really have milk too often. I drink almond milk. Pineapple on pizza? Yes, absolutely. I know that sounds terrible to some people, but I like it. Will there be any duets? Uh, they're all kind of duets. Um, they all get a lot more duetty than rap battley, to be honest. That's uh, I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see. Big Ruster. Exactly. Exactly. I agree. It's wrong, and I love it. Trying to catch all these hold notes.
It's really glitchy with when it puts the hold notes. And it keeps deleting ones over here, too. It's messed up. Why does it do that? Why does it delete the other one? Ugh. All right, I I'm getting annoyed with this. I'm going to edit the notes later. Uh, I'm not going to worry about it right now. So, maybe I'll do it by hand in the code. Let's look at what else we have to do to get this mod up and running. Kind of make a checklist here. Yeah, I am triggered by that editor. It's, it's ticking me off, Santiago. Um, let's talk about what else we need, right? Oh, I know what we need. Okay, so uh, I want to have a version of the theme song. Not the theme song, the menu theme, you know? Um, but metal, right? So let's do that. That's, uh, that's, a, that's a good thing for us to work on here. Let me just get some uh, theme music here. Uh, let me just download this song real quick. Actually, I think I can get it from the Cade Engine GitHub Assets Preload Music Freaky Menu Good Uh, thanks so much, Vivian. Oh, you can't stop. Sorry, I misread that. <laughs> I thought you said you couldn't stop listening to me, but you can't stop the hiccups. That's less fun. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, this isn't the actual... Ah, Kate Engine. Man. I forgot they changed it in the most recent version. Let me go to an older release. Uh, here we go. Can I get an old version of just that file? Assets, preload, music, and then go a couple commits back, history. Here we go, here we go. Is this the older one? Nope. Oh, I have it. What am I talking about? What am I doing here? I have it in this folder. There we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. Thanks, Santiago. So it's about 101 BPM. Maybe less. 102. 102 BPM. Do I like Garcella mod? Yeah, I love the Garcella mod. We had a lot of fun playing that on here the other day. A few weeks ago. Okay. So we're going to remake this as like a metal thing. Let's do it.
still kind of the intro groove. One second, Bandy Whistle. Cash Dips, and I do not plan on topping the Sunday mod. It's fantastic. I love the Sunday mod. Okay, so we've got kind of our, our thing here. Let's get a sketch going. Uh, we've got some instruments in here. we got drums, bass, rhythm guitars. And we'll start with that. People have been dropping things in Showcase. Let's check them out. We got me as a Roblox character. That's fun. <laughs> Chalky Milk. Gotta love it. That's cool. Yeah, Mid-Fight Masses was uh, incredible music. I didn't like the charting, uh, but I, I didn't like... I don't know. I, I heard the creators like took it down because they were getting harassed or something. That's messed up. Don't do that. Can I make the key skin of the entire mod? Circles like Guitar Hero? Okay, so uh, S1MO7. S14MO... Your name is hard to say. Um, the uh, I'm gonna do something like that. There's There are songs where Boyfriend mostly plays guitar and those are mostly gonna be uh, like the Sunday mod, it's going to switch to a Guitar Hero style thing. It won't like directly be Guitar Hero images ripped, but that kind of idea. Um, yeah, he's going to play guitar in a couple songs. It's going to be fun. Okay, we're going to make this a lot faster for ours, I think. More like... Ah, no. Actually, no, that's not where I want to go with it. I want to take it more in, uh, if anybody's listening to Icarus Lives by Periphery, I think that's where we're going to go. Let's play with some guitar riffs. Uh, let's see if we can... Hey, what's up, Paul? We'll slap you. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely gonna cover some Cappy mod, don't worry. Okay, what key is this in? Okay, that's kind of cool. Sounds 
seven, eight in the middle of nowhere. No, I want this to groove. Um. All right, let's just let's just workshop out some some riffs. Go mango in a metal voice, maybe. <laughs> I was going to scream the uh, getting freaky on a Friday night, but maybe the talk box would be fun, too. Somebody mentioned I should do the Pico voice thing. Keep it simple. I'm definitely doing a God Eater cover, don't worry. Edit a video to go with it. That'd be sick, Paul. I'll, I'll let you know if I do that, Paul. Thank you. That'd be sick. Okay, so I think I got, like, the basics of this riff. got we got a riff there let's do it again oh whoops that was on the bass part i gotta play that again later <laughs> oh no i haven't watched the anime at all i'm sorry not not what i'm talking about That sounds sick. I like that. Let's do it on bass. Well, that's cool, Paul. That's very cool. Yeah, Paul, Paul, we'll talk. Uh, I think I'm going to do God Eater um, probably next week, I think. This week is the witty Carol mod uh this is gonna be tricky because i don't actually have those notes on this base Bass part. Let's add some drums and make this sound really sick. I would go for 7 8, but it won't groove, Tercero. Pro Tools? Pro Tools, what happened here? Pro Tools, where did you go? 
<laughs> what happened, Pro Tools? I turned away for one second. Will there be any 6-8 pirate tempo in the mod, Gash Dipson? Um, the second song is in 12-8, uh, which is like two 6-8s next to each other. It's like a deck the deck the deck the deck the It's the same thing. Well, let's hope we didn't lose that. I think I saved. Ah, oh, we lost the bass part. Okay, let's track it again. There it is. Uh, Joseph, yes, I have. I'll show you. <laughs> nice chalky milk, bandy whistle. Very good. Um, actually, that, that's not what I was looking for. Where is it? Here's the mod. Uh, so this is Gentbot. He's a little... He's happy now, but he gets angry very quickly as he has a short temper, and then he transforms into other things. He's cute. I like him. Cool. Let's put some drums in. Puddles, thank you so much. Oh, Puddles, you drew some fan art? Where are you? In Genpot Art? Ah, ooh, ooh. Hey, Norberto, great work here, by the way. Puddles. So this is Puddles the Molten's work. My name's Gen Pops. <laughs> <laughs> this is so well done, Puddles. This is great. Uh, this is Genpot's final form, uh, which I, I haven't shown on here today. This is very well done, Puddles. I love it. Thank you. An awesome job, Chalky Milk, as well. I'll check it out in a second, Bandy Whistle. Oh, Brock, uh, the guitars are, for the most part, in standard tuning, believe it or not. Uh, so the eight-string is a regular standard-tuned six-string guitar with a low B and a low F-sharp below it. Um, the uh, bass is a standard four-string bass with a low, ba a low B below it. So nothing crazy on those, ba on those guitars.
Bandit Whistle. Bandit Whistle. is that how do I feel about my community Santiago they're amazing you're all amazing I agree. The intro song absolutely slaps. It does not get old. It's a new sound. That's definitely a new sound. Wow, Pro Tools is doing stuff tonight, guys. That's my new sound. It's the sound of a processor slowly burning into pieces. It also jump scared me, Mazagovia. I'm just I'm just completely hardened to the madness that Pro Tools does. playing lo-fi chords for you now. What's my favorite song? Um... My favorite song ever? Man, that's hard. I think it's probably September by Earth, Wind, and Fire. <laughs> that's such a, a weird call for me, but um, but I think it is. Can you remember the 21st night of September? It's, it's the perfect song. It truly is. What's the first song I played on guitar? Um, it was uh, It was this song. Let's see if anybody recognizes it. Anybody know that one? Okay, Bandy Whistle, you're close. It is a pirate thing. It is not that, though. That is, that is the theme song from The Secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> Which is an old DOS adventure, adventure game. It was a beautiful, beautiful game, though. You got you got to see Absolutely gorgeous game. Super fun to play. Loved it. Such a catchy song. That's the first song I played. I think like the second song I played uh Weezer's Island in the Sun was one. Um but then one of them was and man, this is going to be a deep cut and maybe this will just awaken some ancient memories for some of you. But uh does anybody remember this riff? Oh, sorry, wrong key.
Anybody? Anybody? Yes, Santiago. It is Take Me Away from Freaky Friday. And it's a freaking banger, guys. Play Doom Eternal. Chris lives. <laughs> anyway. Oh, Silver Star, I'm just playing random songs on guitar at this point. Was it difficult getting used to more springs? More strings? <laughs> Not at all, honestly. Uh, sometimes I forget I have an extra one there, but honestly, it's like super comfortable guitar. Super, super comfy. So Randy, how did I discover Friday Night Funkin'? Uh, my mod Tercero tipped me off to it. I uh, mentioned that it was it was something to check out. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Those are my broken fingers after trying to play the last song in this mod. Anyway, let's uh let's finish uh this tune. So we got to find this chord. Tercero, if you find it, send it DM it to me and I'll show it to them. I think that is actually the chord there. That's not what I wanted though. There we go. There we go. Now we gotta find those chords. How's it going, Ultra Killer? God, I wish I knew what those chords were. Boy, that's a wild chord, guys. Yeah. 
Yeah, the guitar is only in your left ear right now. Sorry. Now it'll only be in your right ear. I'm just gonna play bass on this guitar. Base works on this. Yeah, I should cover some Geometry Dash sometime. It'd be fun. Maku, I do madness sometime. Yeah, definitely. How's it going, Royal? We are making a, a metal version of the menu theme for my mod. Uh, so what chords do we have here? We have C, A, A flat. Uh, so... We're going to do like a major seven. But let's do a better voicing of that. Maybe that actually works. And this whole thing should be a little faster. Cash Dibs and no, I know. I used to play all the live drums for my covers, but honestly, it takes forever uh, to, to get them recorded properly and, and edited. So I, I don't do those anymore live. Uh, I miss playing drums, though. I do love playing drums. And they are a lot of fun to play drums, too. Maybe I'll do a drum stream sometime. That'd be fun. That's not terrible. I don't love it, but it's not terrible. I'll keep playing with it. Can I do a just talking stream? Yeah, sometime. Definitely. I don't know. I always like to be productive. I'm so, like, obsessed with productivity, which isn't healthy, probably.
All right, let's let's do a metal scream, huh? Let's do a few of them. You you guys get to see how terrible I am at metal screams. Check. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make it so you can only hear me through Pro Tools for a second. Okay. Hey, thanks, Evelyn. <laughs> when this comes out, you'll spend five hours on the title screen. <laughs> uh, okay, so let me get... Okay. And I actually just need to mute myself and my headphones for a second, too. Okay, good. So now we're going to compress the heck out of this vocal. Super crunchy and super crispy as well. Hello, check one, two. Check one, two. Yeah. All right, that's good. Uh, we are then going to throw just a little bit of decap on it. This makes things a little crunchier like this. Rawr. That's fun. Okay, metal scream time. I'm going to try to scream getting freaky on a Friday night. do some high fry screams and then I'll mix in some deeper growls too. Let me just warm up my scream real quick. <clears throat> I don't even know if I don't even know if I have it tonight. I haven't tried screaming. I'm gonna turn the mic off for one second to make sure I actually have it <laughs> so I don't embarrass myself. <laughs> one second. Okay. We got something. We got something workable. <clears throat> no, it shouldn't be too loud. It shouldn't be any louder than this because I'm distorting it, so it, it levels it out. I don't want to hold out night like that. I'm not opening up enough. Cool, let's layer that up. We'll do a few of those. Okay, let's do a lower one now. I'm so bad at lows, but if we layer it enough, it'll sound okay. I only found it halfway through that. I deleted the rough part. <laughs> one more. Freaky on a Friday night. Cool, we're gonna layer. Okay, now I'm back in your ears. Cool. We're gonna layer that all together, and uh, it should sound kind of passable. I can always play with this more later. I'm just trying to get a decent sketch here. Thanks, Santiago. I know I'm not great at it. I'm gonna change these drums so they hit a little better here. Yeah, 
yeah all right that's the start of things cool that's fun <coughs> so we didn't get as much work done tonight as i hoped we would uh, i do want to shift gears over to and i can change the title for this too at this point eh, it doesn't matter uh we're gonna finish up a cover of heart base that i'm working on Rachel, is it going to have death notes? Uh, maybe. Like um, like the tricky uh, mod later notes? Um, <clears throat> yeah, maybe. If I figure out how to program it and I feel like it improves the, the playing experience, maybe. Um, okay, so who's played the Carol Witty date mod? Ooh, we're having, having some issues here. We're still loading the drums, that's why. Give it a second. It is very cute. I haven't actually played it yet. Uh, I've just watched a bit of it. So let me actually download it. And we can play it at the end of the stream. I love everything BB Panzu does. Their, their mods, their music, everything are just so sweet. Okay, that should be loaded now. No, wow, what's going on here? Still feels really bad. We're getting glitchy. Getting glitchy on a feet. Go away, win rare. There we go. Man, this is a totally different feel. Okay. <laughs> This sounds really rough to me now. <laughs> the other thing sounded better. Uh, thanks, Super Genesis. You got great vocals too, man. There we go. That's the bass I was missing. Hey, Octavius, doing well. Cash tips, and this is so 90s, like pop punk. Vivian, I did just find that out last week. That's super interesting. I think I'm just going to move these guitar tracks back to where they were. Here, get rid of these for now. What happened? What just happened? I haven't played the HD mod yet, Serenity. It looks cool. Thanks, Rachel. This is, this is literally basket case. <laughs> Do you have the time to listen to me whine about nothing and everything all at once? It's literally the same song, but it's a good chord progression. It's a classic. <laughs> uh, let's get Carol and Woody's voices going right. Loud warning. Loud warning, folks. It's going to get louder. Turn your volumes down now. 
I'm doing mine a little bit. Loud warning. FYI. Here we go. Okay, so I had a fun idea. Um, for the last chorus of this, which we're going to do a lot more production work on this, but I had a fun idea that there'd be like backing vocals in the last chorus. Um, so I'm just going to sing the melody a few times with some harmonies and stuff. I think it'd be fun. Thanks, Octavius. Check one, two. Okay. Check. Yeah, I think it. I think the backing vocals are going to be fun. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. One more in that octave. Do a harmony. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. One more in that range. Great lyrics I came up with, right? Okay, one more harmony, and then we'll do like a high one. We're just 
We're adding some backing vocals here. One more in that range. Okay, and then a really high one. Somebody said mute the music and smooth McGroove it. Yes, let's do it. fucking barbershop cover win <laughs> that's good okay cool now we're gonna mix that uh, pretty far back in the mix it's not gonna sound like that because that sounds weird right that doesn't fit anything i just want it to sound like a crowd of people singing along in the background <laughs> it sounds okay, I guess. We'll, we'll keep playing with that. Silver Star, I'll check it out. I want to see what the production stuff that I missed on this was, because there's definitely stuff I, I didn't get. Cool, so we need like a, a big happy fun chord at the beginning. With some nice bells. We'll do that in FM8.
We'll have it kind of count in on the hi-hat here. Oh yeah, I'll do some gameplay, don't worry. Uh, fair warning, we are getting loud again, FYI. Everywhere at the end of funk. Oh, God. <laughs> that sounds depressing. I am deeply unhappy with the mix for this. I'm glad you think it sounds good, Mascovia. I, I am... Mm, I'm angry at how these notes are fitting together. I want to add a couple more production elements, and then we'll mix for another 10, 20 minutes, and then we'll play through the mod. We'll have some fun with it. Uh, let's open up Splice. Do I have Splice open? How's it going, Vin? You can picture it being the ending music to something like 10 Things I Hate About You. You are absolutely right. Have I played the Starving Artist mod? No, I haven't. I'll check it out. Well, that's loading. I want to add a couple drum fills in here.
Killjoy. This is a cover of uh, uh, Heart Bass from the Carol and Witty mod. Favorite movie? I don't know if I have one, but Back to the Future is pretty close. All right, I saw there's two endings. I only play on hard, so it's not going to be a problem. Vin, how long do I plan to make Friday Night Funkin' covers? Honestly, as long as people are still like willing to listen to them, because I really enjoy it. You can hear a thousand keyboard clacks at the end as I stop singing. Hey, Puddles, thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks. Hi, Puddles, Mom. So now I want to make sure I'm getting all the little production elements, the noise sweeps and all that stuff. I'll talk through these as we get them. We have these bells at the beginning. We got that. I think we have a whoosh going into this part. Right here. Do you hear that coming in? Check it out. So we're going to replicate that. I have some sound effects here. Uh, this is the one I used on Casanova. That, that worked pretty well for me. I'm going to use that. Way too loud. OK. 
Okay. And then we're going to have a sub drop there. Now, does Witty keep singing there? I need to hear it. He does. Okay. It kind of gets in the way of things, but all right. Whatever you got to do, Witty. Okay, there's like some really happy strings up top. Uh, we're gonna add those in. We'll use, um, I have a Mellotron string in here, that'd be cool. There we go. This is a cool sound, I like this one. Um, Play some keyboard here. Oh, thanks, Sleepy Bruno. I, I just practiced a lot. Don't worry. Yeah, Tercera, the Mellotron is one of my favorite keyboard instruments. It's super cool. The second one gets different. They change chords a few times, so we're going to play it again. Oh no, this one's the same. I'm wrong. That's where the chords change. Okay. I'm very wrong about what those chords are. There's a, there are some sounds in the background. I am not going to attempt him to do them at, with sweep picking with this little time to go. Uh, so they're going to be synthesizers, I think. Oh, thanks, Alika. A A A A Alika. Now there's one crazy chord change in there, I think. Cool, one more chorus to go.
this one's so different. Oh, man. And the ending is totally different too. Let's just hit that again. Okay. We got it. Check for any mistakes. There's one. Okay. I think we got the string part. Oh, thanks, Patchy. Well, we would be nothing without the original mu music makers. We, we'd have nothing to play. So I'm, I'm always, always appreciative of the original composers. Okay, now let's deal with that little synthy arpeggio thing going on. Okay, so there's like there's a like a Game Boy style arpeggio going on up top. I think we're gonna make it in Serum. We'll make it sound more Game Boyish in a second. Is there an arpeggiator in Serum? Maybe we'll use... Hang on, I have a better idea. Oh, thanks, just crypto. <laughs> Vanya Valerina, if this doesn't play at my wedding, I ain't getting married. <laughs> That's fantastic, Vanya. Okay, so we're going to load a Game Boy here. Gonna be a pulse wave, and I think this does have an arpeggiator built into it. Okay. Wish I knew how to operate this thing. Okay, let's see if I can actually play these chords. Now we're gonna have to do this slower. <laughs> I'm not that good at keyboard. So close. Okay. That was mostly pretty decent, I think.
Yeah, that arpeggiator is kind of messy. I kind of don't like it. Let's turn it off, and I can do this by hand. It'll be better. Fine, I'll do it myself. What's the hardest cover I ever worked on? Expurgation, hands down. That was ridiculous. Vexel, am I fine with people slowing down my covers, posting them to YouTube? I'd rather people didn't just repost my videos. I work hard on them. I don't know. If you want to use them in your mods and stuff, that's totally cool, but just reposting the videos, eh, I don't feel great about it. Cool, that's cool. Christian, you're exactly right. That's exactly what it is. Cool. Let's do a little bit of mixing here. I'm still going to put some finishing touches on this tomorrow, I think. I have so much to do tomorrow. Oh my gosh. I have to shoot the video for this. I have to get ready for my live stream with my D&D group, which, by the way, let me just, uh, let me just plug them again. Uh, everybody go subscribe to my new Dungeons & Dragons channel, uh, where I'm going to be playing D&D &D with some friends tomorrow. We're going to have a blast. Uh, it's called Tales from Rukon, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So everybody go sub to that if you haven't. Oh, and Tercero has a, a fun... Oh, we got some awesome more fan art in here. There's Bandy Whistle's Chalky Milk, of course. Vexel, is that... That's awesome. That's fantastic. I like it a lot. Here, and Tercero has... This is the message Tercero sent me when he was like, hey, there's this new song came out. It's called Ugg, uh, and Friday Night Funkin's pretty popular. You should cover it. And I did, and the rest is history. <laughs> so let's mix this. Uh, let's go through kind of piece by piece. Get the sections feeling good as we build them up. I'm going to build them up from the rhythm section first. Let's get some organization here, folks. Is the table we're going to play... 
uh, original or ready-made story. It is a completely original story. Our, our dungeon master is an incredible storyteller. Uh, he's been running games in the same world for about 20 years. Um, it's a world his, his big brother started playing with him, and then he has since taken over and has played with uh, us and, and my friends now. Um, so it's all original, all brand new characters. It's going to be an absolute blast. Okay, we got drums, we got bass. This is Carol's lead. This will be her double one, her double two. This is witty. Ugh. Witty lead. Witty's double. And let's take these guys out of the equation for a second. These are my backup guitars. They're kind of singing backup vocals in all the choruses. I'll show you what they're doing when we get to them. Uh, and then this is... what is this? Our bloops, and then this is our opening bells. Uh, then we have all my vocals down here. Okay, cool. So we got we got a lot to play with. Let's put all these on a single channel just to be organized, and then they're going to go to the the track track. So let's mute our leads for now, mute our backup guitars, and mute our solo vocals. Great. Now let's just listen to our rhythm section here, as it feels. Yo, Jules, what's up? How's it going? Good to see you. Doing good. I am not working on my mod right now. The title is wrong. <laughs> I will play some stuff from my mod. Uh, this is uh, this is Heart Base from the Carol and Witty mod, though. It was really, really stuck in my head this week, so I figured I'd play it. I'll play a little stuff from my mod, though. Let's see, this one's good.
So anyway, that'll be out in a couple weeks, uh, a like a work in progress of that. Thanks so much, Jules. Yeah, so that's going to be a blast. Um, first two songs of that will be out next week with a, with a demo of the game, with the first couple playthroughs, first couple tunes charted out. Uh, and then uh, this song will be up tomorrow, so that'll be cool. All right, let's keep mixing. Okay, I'm feeling good about where the rhythm section sits right now, and it's really just getting these leads to fit that's bugging me. Oh, I want to fit these in too. So I have these backup guitars playing this thing. Just doing like harmonies. Sounds like Queen. <laughs> Sounds like Brian May guitars. <laughs> Okay, so getting these leads to fit in, I did some volume automation on Witty that's bugging me. Let me get rid of that. Yeah, Jules, it's, uh, it is all neural at this point. Yeah, I was doing a mix of JST and neural, but right now, most of my guitars are Fortin nameless. Although Carol's lead, uh, I wanted that to be really like clean and smooth. And so she, never mind, I'm lying. She's also nameless. <laughs> she was the Pliny uh, one, but it, it just didn't feel right. It wasn't, it wasn't sitting right against nameless, so they are all just Fortin nameless. What do you use for your leads? I was meaning to ask you, what do you use for your guitar tones? Is that what you're usually using Axe Effects? It, it really is. They are incredible. I love my Axe Effects too. I, it doesn't get enough use. I mostly use it for live stuff. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing we did for the first verse, grabbing that little bit of production, that little sweep riser, this thing. 16 in mono? I don't know, that. hang on. Oh, cool, cool, I'll have to check them out. Nice. Well, that's awesome, man. I'd love a good sub drop there too, would that be cool? Do I have one of those? That's kind of cool. Yeah, let's use the cashmere one. That's always good. Brandon, I'll, I'll have to hit him up. That's awesome. I gotta check out his music. Where was I? Here we go. That's a that's a bit extreme. <laughs> we'll just keep that way in the back, I think. Get these guitars out of the way. Jules, are you doing a Friday Night Funkin' live show now?
Oh, yes, that would be amazing. <laughs> That'd be crazy. I, I, God, I would love to work out the, the live performance thing remotely, working together with people. That would be, you're going on tour? Oh, that's, that's going to be awesome. Let me know if you hit, get anywhere near the East Coast, man. Okay, it's occurring to me, I forgot to fill in the rhythm part here. <laughs> Let's see what they do in the original. Okay, I, I love that. I want to do something slightly different here. Hey, have a good night, Jules. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, where did I put my guitar? There it is. So I'm just going to have like one lone rhythm guitar play. I think that'll be fun. There we go. Almost lost my headphones headbanging there. Whoops. I'm going to have the other guitar kind of fade in there. There's the note. We're going to have drums kind of build there. Get that sweep as well. And I think we're pretty much done. Let's listen to the whole thing. Uh, we'll go back and listen to that menu jam I did earlier, and then we'll play through the Carol and Woody date mod. Cool? Here we go.
<laughs> that one string hanging out after. There we go. That's better. Uh, that was great. Uh, thank you guys so much. That was fun. Uh, let's listen to our menu jam here. Uh, this isn't finished. This isn't finished. We just spent like, I don't know, what, 20 minutes on this? Half an hour? Not long. Thanks, Cash Dibson. Oh, <laughs> that's a new one. <laughs> I've never had that error before. Is it going to do it again? Okay, good. We're good. <laughs> that was weird. Thanks, Mazagovia. Oh wait, hang on, this will feel better. Okay. That's something. So Sarah, I think I'm going to print this one tonight, the, uh, the Carol and Woody tune. Uh, but next time I need high vocals, I will, I will let you know. Cool. All right. That's, that's fun. Uh, we'll, we'll use that. Uh, so we kind of got some charting done. Not much. A bit, I guess. Um, and we did the menu theme a little bit. And we finished uh, the Carol Witty date mod, which is... Uh, the uh, we finished heart base, which is good because uh, that's got a deadline of tomorrow. That's good. How's it going, Diago from Argentina? Awesome. All right, let's play some date mod. Let me just close all the other junk I have open. Adrian, I probably have about 25. I don't know. There we go. I'll be honest, I'm not... I don't know Witty or Carol's songs that well. I know a lot of these are mashups of the two of them. So I'm not going to get these, unfortunately. Talk about how there's parts of Witty that are in front of and behind the table. That's really hard to program. We'll get to that screen at the end. I don't plan on seeing the death screen during this playthrough.
That's nice. His half of the table is part of the sprite. That's super cool, Dominic. Thank you. That's what I wanted to know. I see Tord in the background. Yes, it's very Sega Genesis. There's Garcello. Solazar! I'm so excited for the Entity mod. Okay. Timing's a little tricky. Like, it's not fast, it's just on weird beats. Heart bass. I know this one. I've heard this before. This is so fast. I wasn't expecting doubles. I saw Saliva in the background. How would you pronounce it? I'm curious, Sonya. It does have big anime ending energy. I agree. I love this. That's great. I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> well, that was lovely. Let's watch this. Oh, 8-Bit Drummer did the drums on this song. Awesome. I love 8-Bit. He's amazing. Aw, oh, Sky. Shaggy and Matt in the background. Annie. Garcello. This 
Sarvente. Miku. <laughs> Cappy. nice. That was great. If you die with Witty, a very bad ending happens? Okay, I'll try to die. I won't be hard on heart base. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that's very bad. It just keeps going. Yeah. Yeah, that's the downside to dating a bomb. Does this just keep going? Is there anything else? <laughs> Rip. I like the jazzy chord as you leave the barren nuclear wasteland. Uh, somebody asked, is tutorial the same? Let's see. Probably. The way that Cade Engine is built, yeah, this is just the same. I should cover this sometime. So, uh, that was fun. That was good. Yeah, so I think we'll, I think we'll call it there. I'm gonna make one more, uh, one more plea to go sub to my new channel, Tales from Rukon. We are starting our new Dungeons & Dragons live stream tomorrow. I can introduce you to our characters real quick, actually. This will be fun. Let me pull him up. Oh, jeez. I can't find it. Oh, I have it in here, actually. It's Genbot. Here we go. Okay. I'll just quickly introduce you to our D&D &D party. Uh, left to right, we got Thrag Kegbuster. Uh, who's, uh, I think he's gonna be a fighter, I wanna say. I don't know these guys yet. Uh, Gallad Cran is a druid. Uh, I'm playing Ragtag Farnswallop, who's this dude here. Um, just picture Old Man McGucket with magic powers from Gravity Falls, and then Nikita is gonna be an awesome, uh, he's like a Khajiit from, uh, Skyrim. Like a cat dude. And he, he's gonna be an absolute monster. He's gonna be awesome. So that's our, that's our team. He's a cat. He's not a wolf. <laughs> Anyway, that's our that's our little team there. Tales from Rukon. Everybody go sub. It's gonna be awesome.
can you give a leak of Amaji working on it? Yeah, send it over, Masakovia. I want to see. Um, yeah. Post it in the Discord. I'll check it out, Masagovia. Let's, uh, I think we're going to end it there. You guys rock. Thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, we're going to keep working on this mod until it's finished. Uh, next week, I think I'm going to release the first two songs from the mod. Uh, that's Sideways and Does It. Um, and probably a trailer for the mod and then the actual mod with just the first two songs in it. I have all the voiceovers recorded for the mod. Uh, where am I going to publish the mod? It's going to be on Game Banana and on just probably a direct link from the YouTube video too, on Google Drive or something. Puddles, thank you so much. <laughs> I know it did feel short. It was it was two and a half hours, which is usually what I go two and a half to three hours. Thank you so much, Puddles. Have a good night. Have a good weekend. Uh, and I hope to see everybody on the D and D stream tomorrow night, because um, it's going to be a blast. All right, everybody have an awesome night. You guys are amazing, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.